Hey friends, it's Tamara Bennett with Southern Adornments Decor. I'm excited to be live with you guys today to paint this cowboy Christmas boots. Uh, this is what it looks like all painted up and we're going to make this happen. Uh, I painted, cut this one out on my Thunder Laser. It is a Nova 24. And um, if you don't have a, a laser machine and you've been dreaming about getting one, the Thunder Laser is pretty awesome. You might want to ask for one for Christmas. Uh, but if you want to get the supply list for the project today with all the colors that I used on this and a link back to the video, if you're planning on painting this later, highly suggest that you text LIST to this phone number um, because it will also give you a link to go back and uh, download supply lists for previous projects that we've painted live here. Um, and of course, anytime that you want to, you know, do one of our projects, it's always nice to have like a list to go by and a video to watch. And so it's a, it's a good resource to have. So once you get that link bookmark it um, in your phone or on your computer or whatever device you use the most, that way it's easy for you to go back and access because we add a new project to it every, every week. Um, y'all say hi as you come in. Tell me where you're watching from. Hey, Sheila. Hi, Debbie and Jenny and Mary. I hope you are having a great week. I have been out of town this last week for Mastermind. I was out at Kill Devil Hills, North Carolina, and I had a good time hanging out with my friends last week, but I am excited to be back with you all and get back in the groove. I'm a routine kind of person. I do enjoy trips and traveling, but I like getting back in my routine. I kind of look forward to like the Monday after a trip because it like gets me back in my groove, which I understand not everybody's like that. Like if you don't love your job or maybe you like dread going to work, I can see how you feel that way, but I love what I do. Hey, Annette from Mississippi. Hi, Kathy and Laura. Thank you, Diane. I missed you guys too. Hey, Vicki. Hi, Rita. Uh, I see Vinny's watching from YouTube. Good morning. So this is one of the new templates we released this past Friday. We did a bunch of actually, actually a bunch of like Christmas Western cowboy type designs. So if you haven't seen them, go check them out. They're at shopdoorhangers.com. But this was the top seller last weekend. So that's why I picked this one. So we're going to start off by painting the boots. And while the boots are drying, we'll paint the cowboy hat up here at the top or the cowboy hat. We'll paint the uh, Santa hat up here at the top. How many of you guys are fans of like cowboy type decor? Do you have any of this kind of decor in your home? I'm curious to know, like how many, how many people like loved this design? Hey, April from TikTok. We're also live over on TikTok. Let's see. Let's choose our browns while you guys are answering that question. I think I like this sable brown for the lighter part of the boots. And then we need a darker brown for the rest of the boots. So I may go with dark chocolate also. Sable brown and dark chocolate. Those are good combo, I think. Ignore the little dot on there. <laughs> uh, Diana likes it. Good morning, Sandra. You haven't been able to see me in a long time. <laughs> well, if you like getting text alerts, you can actually text the word, or like when I'm going live, you can actually text the word alert to this phone number as well. And that'll put you on a special list um, in our texting system because texting has gotten expensive, y'all. I, I don't know if y'all know this, but texting's not free. <laughs> for us to be able to text you and let you know that we're going live, it, we actually have to pay for that. And we have to pay per text for each individual text. And so there, you know, I don't mind paying that for, you know, notifying you guys that I'm going live, but there's no sense in notifying the entire list if not everybody wants to know when I go live. So we actually segmented the list this past week. And so the only way you're going to get a text notification from us about a live is if you text the word alert to that number and you'll be on the special list of people who want to be notified when I'm live. Otherwise, we'll just let you know when there's current sales going on or anything that's like really important we'll text you about. Um, so if you've never painted on one of our wood blanks before, um, these lines that are on here are laser etched and you can paint right over them. So all of these little Christmas lights that are tangled around these boots, we can actually paint right over them um, and we can still see them through the paint to go back and add them later. So that kind of makes it to where you don't have to like paint around everything. TikTok okay. wants to see the end product. Oh, sorry, TikTok. There you go. There's the design. You can find this at shopdoorhangers.com. If you don't want to buy the wood cutout, if you're handy with like a jigsaw or a scrawl saw, or maybe you have your own laser cutter, we actually sell the templates for these as well. And the template can be printed out and traced on the wood, or you can use the laser file that comes with the template to cut it on your own laser machine. You have to pay attention to these lines though, because there's two boots. So I'm trying to pay attention to where this, this line goes. There's a design right here that kind of splits the boot. 
Good morning, Barbara. Diane says, I'm a boot girl. I have over 35 pairs of cowboy boots. Diane, the only person I know who owns probably that many cowboy boots is Heidi Easley, <laughs> Texas Art and Soul. Um, but you may have beat her. I'm going to have to text her and find out how many boots she has because I don't know if she has 35. She has a lot, though. But that's quite the collection. I only have, I think, three pairs. I actually sold one of my pairs to Casey Hope um, at the last event we went to. She didn't have any boots, so I took extras with me. And I was like, you know, I don't wear these very often. I was like, if you need some, I'll happily sell them to you. She's like, done. <laughs> uh, but I have three pair. Deanna says, this is a cute design. I'm going to have to order this template. You should. And I can't wait to see how you paint it. <laughs> okay, so that's the sable brown color that we used. Oh, let me take this off the screen for you guys. There we go. And let's see, the bottom part. Oh, wait, we're going to use the sable brown also on the sole of the boot. And that kind of goes like right through here. And I'm just using a large flat tip brush to do this. Um, it covers quickly. So, you know, if you're a bit of a slow painter. I feel, I feel like the larger brushes cover faster, but you also kind of have to have the hang of it because if you're not very good at controlling the paint, a large brush may make a bigger mess. So go with the one that you feel confident using. There's a hair on the wood. Does anybody have any questions about painting door hangers or anything? TikTok's asking how much the blanks start at. Oh, so the blanks come in four different sizes. You can get ornament size, which would be like six inches for about $7. Or you can get like this size, which is like 20 inches, which would be like to hang on your front door um, for $24. So it just depends on the size that you want. We also have eight and 12 inch. So if you're like a wreath maker, you may want like the 12 inch size to paint and put on a wreath. That would be really cute, wouldn't it? Rita says, after receiving the big box of blanks that are etched, it's so much easier to paint. I love them. Isn't it, though? Painting on the etched blanks is so satisfying. It just it makes things go so much quicker. Oh, by the way, y'all, and I, know I can't show this to TikTok because y'all can't see the screen that I'm looking at, but we have a free template for you guys if you get on our Black Friday um, list. So Black Friday sales are actually starting for us next Friday. And every Friday between now and Thanksgiving, we will be having a different sale of the week. And so if you want to know what our Black Friday deals are going to be, and if you want to get this free, it looks like a little Debbie snack tree cake, like little Christmas tree cakes. It's a template for that. If you want to get the template for free, all you have to do is click the link in the video description and it will take you right over there and you can download that template and you can get on our list and you will receive an email. Now, TikTok, if you want to get this, just go to southernadornmentsdecor.com. It's right at the top of the page. Um, but it will send you an email. In that email, you can download your free template. And if you scroll down in the PS section, um, which I think we're talking about moving it up. So somewhere in that email, you'll find the schedule for what the sales are going to be. So it's like getting to preview the sale. You know how Walmart previews their sale and you can you kind of can plan, OK, I'm going to go get my Xbox and I'm going to get these video games or I'm going to go get this TV or whatever. You can plan your deals before you go shopping. So you get that email. You look at the sales. You decide, you know, OK, I'm going to set my reminder on my you know, I'm going to tell Siri to remind me that about this deal at this time. So you can just kind of plan and schedule ahead so you know um, when the deals start. So a couple of benefits to being on that. You get the free template and you get to know what the deals are before anybody else. And that all starts this coming Friday. <sighs> hey, Bet. Hey, Pat from Virginia. Lauren says, I'm excited. Lauren actually designed this one, you guys. If y'all like this cowboy boot design, give Lauren a little shout out. She's in the comments. She is a teacher um, here in Kentucky, and she's one of my good friends. And she has actually started designing door hangers. And she designed this really cute cowboy boot for Christmas door hanger. So y'all give her a little shout out in the comments. I know she was excited to see this one painted. Now, this is the dark chocolate. You can see that it's quite a bit darker than that sable brown. So this is going to be the bottom part of our boot. Don't be afraid to paint right over those little Christmas lights. We can still see them through the paint. Annette loves this design. 
Donna says, it's adorable. <laughs> <coughs> hey, Carolyn, glad you made it. Do we have any first time watchers today? Drop us a comment. Let me know if this is your first time watching. Actually, let's do some happy mail. If this is your first time watching, let us know. Don't be a lurker. Say hello. If this is not your first time watching, maybe tell me how long you've been watching me paint. How long have you been a fan of Southern Adornments decor? We'll pick a random person in the comments and we'll send some goodies in the mail. We love doing happy mail. Lots of first time watchers over on TikTok. Awesome. Hey, TikTok. Thank you for being a watcher. Definitely hit that follow button if you're enjoying this. I give out all kinds of door hanger painting tips on my page. I also get kind of goofy and make funny little videos on there, but they're all kind of related to crafting and painting and being a mom. So if you enjoy that sort of thing, I also have some videos showing that my laser machine cutting these out. So those are kind of fun to watch. And I would love for you guys to go and download that free Christmas tree cake door hanger template at southernadornmentsdecor.com. I think I'm going to be able to get away with only doing one coat of brown on this if I just kind of like quickly go over a couple of the spots that were a little thin. And again, all the paint that I'm using today is DecoArt Americana. You can pick this up at like Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Mm -hmm. It's a good craft paint to use. Y'all like my little candy corn nails? <laughs> Close up of my candy corn nails. I put those on uh, just a couple nights ago. I, I had to fit them in before Halloween. But these are red aspen nails. If y'all have never tried them, they're awesome. They last about two weeks on my fingers. Um, you just glue them on. So I just sat and glued them on while I was watching a TV show with my husband. And uh, they're super cute. I scratched that one though. So I scratched part of the candy corn off of it. But if they come off, you can just glue them back on, but I don't usually have one pop off till at least like day eight or nine at the very latest or earliest. Uh, Annette has been a member for two years of the Painters Club House. Thank you, PC sister. Um, let's see. Hey, Jessica. Thank you. Peg says, I love craft paint. Perfect for Halloween. Yes, they are. Actually, all of the Halloween nail dashes on Red Aspen right now are 25% off. So it's only $12 per pack. Who's my neighbor? Tanya Fleet says she's new in your neighborhood two minutes down the road. Really? That's cool. It's always neat to find locals on this here. This is TikTok. Okay. Our happy mail winner is on TikTok, Tay Wilkes 79. Tay Wilkes 79. If you're still on here, um, send us an email at info at southernadornmentsdecor.com with your mailing address and we'll send you um, some happy mail. Marie Mosley says, I'm not sure how long I've been on here. I think I joined when you were celebrating your second PC birthday, but I watched a long time before then. Some of you guys have been watching since way back in the days when I painted from the dining room table. How many of the, how many of you guys are on here? Probably not very many. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Okay. While these boots are drying, we're going to jump up here and paint the hat red. So I'm just going to use the primary red that I have. Can you paint over foil? Yes, you can. Kimberly, download the template. Which one do I use to print 20 inch or 18 inch? Uh, paint, print the 20 inch. I don't think we have 18 inch templates Maybe in there. She means print 20 inch for an 18 inch. Oh, if you're printing an eight, if you're wanting 18 inches and our door hanger is sized to 20, you can adjust the scale on your printer settings. And so I would like adjust it down to maybe like print at 80% scale or something like that. And that should come out to be about 18 inches roughly. Um, I also saw somebody ask how well my natural nails are holding up under these red aspen. Um, there, one of my nails, my thumbnail was starting to like grow a little funny. And I think it's because I was using a nail dash that was just a little too small on it. And so I sized up and it's getting better, but the other nails are perfectly fine. So I'm kind of learning as I go on, um, making sure I don't like making sure I put the right size on there. Shannon is from the dining room table days. <laughs> Thank you, Shannon, for sticking with me all these all these years. It's been a long, long time since the dining room table days. Charlie was 
barely walking in those days. And so is Deb Hale. Welcome, Deb. I guess she has been with me. I remember Deb. She's been with me a long time. Thank you, Shannon and Deb. Laura's been three years. Awesome. So, yeah, the dining room table days were about six, seven years ago. That's some long-time loyalty, ladies. I appreciate you. <laughs> uh, Kate, the nails are from Red Aspen. I'll drop a link here in the comments if you want to check them out. I have a couple of videos over on YouTube and on my Facebook page showing how to, um, how to put them on. Um, so if you're interested in that, you can check it out. Where did I get the foil that I put on the church windows? It was from Artistic Painting Studio. Melinda, if you go back to that video, in the description of that video, there's a link directly to that exact foil that I used, I believe. Okay, let's use some white and do the, um, the white part of our Santa hat. I've used the same brush for this entire project so far. This big flat tip brush. You know how like you, when you find a brush that just kind of like you like the way it feels and you just kind of get used to it. You stick with the same one. Is anybody planning on doing some painting this weekend? You're going to relax and paint some door hangers. Are you working on Christmas or like Thanksgiving kind of designs? Or are you still on Halloween? <laughs> Most people have probably moved on from Halloween at this point because Halloween is coming up. It's less than seven days away. So I've kind of been in full on Christmas painting mode, which is kind of confusing because it, it like makes you forget where, where in the year I am. I'm like, oh yeah, Halloween hasn't even happened yet. <clears throat> Little of everything. You remember watching me paint the bunt pan outside that turned, oh my goodness, I remember that. And the, it was getting dark in the video, like the sun was going down and I was like panicking because during the live, I was like, what am I going to do? The sun's going down and I, you know, I'm not going to have enough light out here to finish this, finish this project. Mm, that was a long time ago. That would have been 2000 and probably 16. There's a little spot right there that I think I was supposed to paint red. So I'll have to go back and add that. <laughs> if you have any snow text, that would be really cute on this fluffy part of the, of the hat, which I think I've got some around here somewhere. I'll have to look. It's been a while since I used it. I used to keep it up here in this little thingy on my counter, but I don't see it. I bet it's in one of those clear baskets somewhere up in there. All right. I think I'm going to let this white dry a little bit before I go back and do a second coat on it. Cause it probably will need a second coat. Uh, Rachel says I have a big vendor fair at the hospital where I work. So I'll be working on ornaments and hangers of all seasons. That sounds like fun. Mostly Christmas for craft fairs. I would love to go to some craft fairs this year. I don't even know about any, any that are scheduled. I need to find out. Thank you for sprinkling the love, Michelle. Okay, somebody on TikTok said, can we buy these already painted? I didn't see them on your site. No, I only sell the wood blanks. I should, I should sell the painted one, shouldn't I? I've said before that I ought to do that. I missed a couple spots on here, so I was doing some touch-ups before I moved on. All right, let me show you kind of up close. You can still see the lights through the paint. Do you see that? So don't panic when you go to paint over them. You can still see them through the paint. <laughs> Laura said, I binge-watched your YouTubes at one time, and I feel like I've been watching you since your dining room table days. You probably feel like that because, yeah, you've seen video, old videos like that. Ali is getting pictures for the blog. She's snapping pictures of the project. You need this. Do you need this door hanger? You should paint one, Brandy. Um, <laughs> well, Ashley, shoot me a DM and we'll see if we can work something out. Ashley on TikTok. All right, um, let's go ahead and dry it because I think we might be able to move on to painting the lights. 
we'll have to see because once it dries sometimes you you know you might need another coat what do you do with all the door hangers you paint you must have a ton i do shannon i've got it's kind of becoming a problem i got a pile upon pile of them um in the spring i usually do like a silent auction for some of them to raise money for um a local cause um my our, our beloved friend, Uncle Corey, as we call him, does a tournament, a softball tournament fundraiser for a local child in need every spring. And so I usually, while he's doing that, do a silent auction to auction off some of my door hangers and give the proceeds to the cause. So that's usually what I do, but um, I always have too many. So thank you, Anna Marie. Check it out. I'm wearing your earrings today. I bought these on Anna Marie's site the other day um, and they were perfect for all of my fall shirts. Okay, there is a little bit, once this, now that this brown has dried, you can see that it's kind of streaky. So yeah, it needs, a, it needs another coat. You can see that you can see the wood grain through there. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick before we move on. Wait, once you dry it, you can always tell if you need another coat. If you're just now hopping on, don't forget to grab your free Christmas snack tree cake uh, template. The link is in the um, video description. You can also find it at the top of our website at shop door hanger or at southern adornments um, If you download that template, you get to also see our preview of our Black Friday specials. They're going to be every week starting this Friday. We're going to have a different deal every week. And I will say that the first deal, I'll go ahead and give y'all a little sneaky peek at that one now. This Friday, we are releasing gift box sets. And they're going to be door hanger blanks that you can either gift to yourself or gift to somebody else. And it comes with a tutorial for you to paint at home. And it'll be like a door hanger that you can hang up any time of year or all year if you want. So um, that will be happening on Friday. And we'll be taking pre-orders for those. Those won't ship until the first week in December. So you can either buy them as a gift for you or a gift for somebody else. Or you can tell somebody in your family, hey, I want one of these for Christmas. Make, make, your, make everybody else's shopping easier. <laughs> Shannon thinks you need to hang your painted door hangers on the walls in your shop. I thought about doing that. I need to um, figure out like how I'm going to hang them up. If I'm going to like put a screw in the wall or something like that. I don't really know. But yeah, I thought about doing that. That way I've at least got like some examples because it's funny whenever like the guys from UPS or FedEx or just anybody really come in that shop that don't know what we do for a living. They're like, now what are y'all making here? And we try to explain to them door hangers. But if, if it's a guy or somebody who doesn't know what a door hanger is, they are so confused. So if I had some hanging up on the wall, I really think it would kind of create a visual and people would understand a little better. What it is we do for a living. Could be another photo drop, photo backdrop. Yeah, that's true. And when we go live in the shop or make make photos out there, <laughs> we would have cuteness up on the walls behind us. It definitely would clear up a lot of space here in the craft room because they're starting to pile up. Cameron Gregory wants to know if you'll have this as a blank for sale at the Jingle and Mingle. Um, I don't plan on cutting new blanks for the Jingle and Mingle. I plan on just taking um, some items that I had left from Southern Adornments Live. I'm not going to have a great big vendor booth at the Jingle and Mingle. Um, just a couple of tables with some items for sale. They're saying use command hooks. Command hooks. That might work, but I don't know. That would be a lot of command hooks. <laughs> and this is a shop wall. I'm not too worried. It's like you could drill into it. So I'm not real worried about putting holes in the wall. Um, whereas if it was in my house, I would be. Man hooks might get kind of pricey. All right, y'all. Y'all ready to do the Christmas lights? Let me look at my photo. See what we're missing here. We need the Christmas lights, and then in the background is kind of like the little swirls and stuff that are on the boot. 
So I'm actually do the swirls first and the strings for the lights and then paint the lights. Kimberly says, do the auction for charity to sell your painted ones. Yeah, that's what I do. Oh, you're saying go ahead and do one now for like a different charity. Is that what you're saying? If only we had the time, Aaliyah. <laughs> <laughs> we laugh because we like it. There are so many things we could do. We just only have the bandwidth for There's some. It's not just the auction. There's this packing and <laughs> shipping. Yeah, it's never just one thing. <laughs> <sighs> All right, let's see. I'm going to get out a paint pen here. Let me get out my Artistro pens. These are the medium tip Artistro paint markers. I'm going to use the black. Um, maybe a pegboard wall. That'd be a good idea. I do feel like I would like the ability to be able to take them up and pull them down because sometimes you need one for like a photo of something. Um, okay, so the lines are already on here. I just need to kind of like trace them. So I'm going to kind of look at my photo because there's a lot going on on here. And trace them with my pen. So that's like the side of one of the boots. Let's see. Here's the side of another boot. Do you sell gift cards on your website? Uh, I don't think so. Do we? <laughs> I don't think we do. We probably could, but I don't think we're set up for that right now. All right. I accidentally drew my line a little too long. So if that happens to you, just get your baby wipe out and clean it up. Okay. And then trace along these lines. Look how much everything starts looking so much better once you start adding these lines. It's like you really see what the shape is a little better. Okay, and then come down the front of the boot. And there's like a little wrinkle in the boot right there. Pen is starting to keel out on me. Had to pump it a little bit. I feel funny wearing candy corn nails while painting a door hanger for Christmas. <coughs> you don't have to guess where any of these lines are. You can pretty much just trace the laser lines. The only place there's not a line is like along the edge of the door hanger here. I'm kind of just adding that in. Michelle says crazy what an outline can do. I know. It suddenly gives it so much more shape. Okay. Now, these are the strings for our Christmas lights. What if I did those in, instead of black, maybe I did them in green, like a dark green. Would that be weird? Because mm -hmm. Christmas lights have green wires, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's finish adding our black lines, and then we'll work on that. Yeah, let's do another happy mail. Um, tell me what kind of Christmas decorating, like what's your style of Christmas decorating? Are you like whimsical or like traditional or do you use like just like golds and reds? Like what, what's your style? I would say mine is a little bit of traditional mixed with whimsical. Um, over the years it's evolved. It used to be like lots of like lime green and red, almost grinchy kind of colors, but then it's kind of evolved to be more like red and silver and white with a little bit of lime green. But it's definitely probably more traditional than it is whimsical. I don't use any like crazy colors that are not traditional colors. Mm, Plaid. Oh, I do have a lot of black, black and white buffalo plaid. So would that be more like farmhouse Christmas then? TikTok, lots of people say traditional. Okay, I'm going to switch colors here. Put down the black. I think the green in this one's going to be too bright, but let me look. I may have to use a different color green.
Whoops, I think I traced the wrong thing. <laughs> I think that was supposed to be a detail on the boot, not the lights. Baby wipe to the rescue. I keep turning it over to get a clean spot on the baby wipe because the green kind of was spreading a little bit when I wiped it. I think I missed some some details on the boots because the boots were supposed to have like a an outline. But ooh, what if I did those in like a brown paint pen instead of a black paint pen? We're getting creative now. <laughs> Farmhouse inspired. I like that. Okay, let's see if this shows up. Mm, no, it's not showing up enough. Sandy says, "Don't forget the side of the boot." Right above the ball on the hat. Oh, right there with the black line. Sandy's got an eye for detail. I totally missed that. Lori wants to know where you got the paint pen. These are all from Artistro. I've got them linked in my Amazon favorites, I think. They are the medium tip. I'm going to try this gold one. I've never used it before, so I got to get it shaken up and kind of get it started. Because when you start, there's no paint on the tip. You got to sit here and pump it. I think I need to shake it some more, too. You love kitsch Christmas decor? Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, our happy mail winner is Wanda Slagle. Congratulations, Wanda. We'll send you something in the mail. All right, here it comes. Gold. I thought I might see what this gold looks like to do, like this little swirly design in the background of the boot. I think I like it. It's kind of like a pattern that was on the boot. Vicky wants to ask a stupid question, <laughs> but which has the lines on them? Because I cannot draw. Uh, blanks. If you're shopping on our website, make sure you get the blanks. The blanks are the ones with the lines. Terry wants to know if you're ready for the jingle mingle. I'm getting there. Um, you know, there's a... No, she's not. <laughs> I'm not completely ready, but I'm getting there. I will be ready when it's time, but I'm not ready yet. <laughs> okay, so now that I've done the gold pattern on the boot, I'm going to take the green and kind of do the, the string for the lights with the green. Aaliyah, could you hand me those little squeeze bottles that are in that cabinet above where you're sitting? I think I want to use the, the puff paints for the lights. Thank you. Making sure I got them all. Oops, this was supposed to be lights, not boot line. Okay, so the lights kind of go horizontally across the boot. That's how you can tell what lines are for the boot and what lines are for the, the lights. So now that we've got the lights on there, let's pick out some colors of these fun little puff paints to do some lights with. Let's see. Let me do this red, this blue, like a yellow, um, a bright green. Is that too bright? Maybe go with that one. I don't know what you think. I think the bright one would be better. That one. Show up. Um, how many colors does she have? She's also got like an orange. Uh, there you go. All right. So these are the colors that we picked out. These are all puffy paints you can pick up like in your craft section, like at Walmart, <laughs> or you can also buy them like on Amazon. But these are really fun to do 3D sort of painting with. And so I'm actually just going to look at my photo here and well that's probably not going to help because I'll get real confused about which one I'll try but I'm going to do like red on this little light right here and then just kind of fill it in in the middle it's kind of like icing a cookie let me show you up close 
Brittany wants to know if you get the digital template, will it go straight into the software for a laser machine? Uh, yes, it will. Okay, there's a red one over here. I feel like I'm icing a cookie putting this on here. Kind of makes a fun little 3D element. Where do you get your puff paints? The puff paints are, these I think I got at Walmart. And it does take some practice. I've kind of got the hang of it after doing it quite a bit here lately. It's kind of been one of the things I've been doing more often. So if you've never done it before, practice on some cardboard or something first till you get the hang of it. Also having all the paint kind of down in the tip helps because um, if you're trying to like do a precise line or something and you get an air bubble, it can kind of make a mess. So I'm kind of going along the outside edge of the light and then I'm filling it in. Okay, blue, and then there's a green here. Miss Pam and the husband are at home with COVID. Oh no, Miss Pam. I hope you guys are doing all right. Rochelle likes puff paint on door hangers, but it can mess them up pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh you kind of have to be willing to like play with it and make mistakes keep your baby wipe handy because you can wipe it up if you make a big mess you just definitely want to make sure that the paint underneath is really dry before you do that okay let's do some blue ones look how cute these are <laughs> somebody said i want to look into the subscription boxes so fun it's called the big box of blanks you can check it out um on our website right now. We're not taking new subscribers, but you can get on the wait list for that. Okay, this one's not wanting to come out very easy, so. Or yes, you can get one of the gift boxes on Friday, and that'll get you started with them. Okay, we got a blue one there, and a blue one here. I feel like this puff paint really makes them stand out a little bit more than just regular paint. It looks like a nice gloss, too. Yeah, I like that. Uh, blue here. You have to be careful, though, because I'm about to get my hand in some of the ones I've already created. It does take longer for this puff paint to dry. So you have to watch out for that. There's a blue one down here. And a blue one down here. It's like icing cookies. I just keep saying that, but that's exactly what it feels like. How much are the gift boxes on Friday? The gift boxes will be $65, and that includes shipping. So I'll make the big announcement on Friday morning during Friday Fab Five. So tune in at 9.30 a.m. Central on Friday to check those out. And um, since this is a pre-order, there's not gonna be like a limited number of them starting out. If you buy during the pre-order period, um, which I think only runs like five days or so, if you buy during the pre-order, you're guaranteed to get a box. But if you don't buy during the pre-order, you'll just have to hope that we have some extras. Kind of made a mess with that one. <laughs> and to add a little extra to kind of make it look right. This yellow almost feels like it's neon. Oh, it is neon. Oh, well. It says neon on the bottle. I didn't even see that. It's going to stand out, that's for sure. Okay, let's see, do another one over here. I'm just looking at my reference photo and kind of just putting them in the right spots. 
Okay, and then there's one here. Oh, orange. We haven't, I was like, what are we missing? We haven't done orange yet. Tell Pat Bailey thanks for the kind words. Oh, what did Pat say? No question is stupid if you don't know the answer. Plus, Tamara and her team will never make you feel stupid. Thank you, Pat. We appreciate you. Our, we love it when people give our customer service team a shout out, too, because they are um, the glue that holds everything together in the background. <laughs> if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do half the things I'm able to do. And they treat you guys so good. We take care of y'all. Donna wants to know if the gift box is different from the big box blanks. The gift box is different in that um, it's just a one-time box. And the items that are in this box are different from the items that would be in a big box of blanks. Um, instead of getting three door hangers, you're just getting one door hanger, but you're going to be getting attachments that you can use on this one door hanger. So it's one door hanger that you could hang up all year long and just change out the attachments on. Um, and we will share a picture with you on Friday about that. I don't want to give it a completely away today. Um, but, and then it's, but it's also similar in that you're going to get a supply list with the colors you need and the instructions and a link to a video to watching how to paint it. So it has some similarities, but it also has some differences. Okay. I've got all the little lights painted, but the little part that links them to the, uh, the string, Socket. The socket, yeah, needs to be painted. So I'm going to do that with this dark green because it's kind of the same color as the, the paint pen that we used on the, the lines. And I may actually paint over those lines with this so that those lines look 3D. Okay. This is going to be so cute. Let me just show y'all real quick up close. Look how adorable. Can y'all see that? Can you see it, TikTok? Super cute. So I'm just going in and adding the little green part for the socket to connect them to the strings. And then I'm repainting the string with this green paint. You just gotta be real careful and not touch the ones that you've painted with your hand. So I'm kind of hovering with just holding my pinky there to not to get paint on everything. Melinda says she's going to get herself one. I'm assuming she's talking about the gift. Yay. The gift yourself. Gift to yourself. I do that to myself too, Melinda. Pat Bailey wants to know if you have to sign up for the big box of blanks every quarter. No, if you're already a big box of blanks subscriber, you do not have to sign up again. Um, you will get automatically billed every quarter. So let's see, the next one should automatically bill you like on April or no, not April, July, January. I can't get my month straight. January the 1st. All the, all the words are combobulating in my head and I can't get them right. This is tricky. It's like I'm squeezing it out and pulling the string along takes great talent. <laughs> Whoops, that one looks kind of messy. It's okay. All right, now I got to make my little sockets. I'll show you guys up close again in a second. These are so cute. You ever do something and you're impressed with yourself? That's the way I feel right now. I'm like impressed with how this turned out. After you keep doing this for a little bit, you may feel like you're having to squeeze harder to get the paint out. Just kind of give it a little shake to send the paint down to the tip of the thing, and you want to squeeze near as hard. This pan says, great call on going over the string. It shows up much better. Yes, it does. I think so, too. I'm going live inside the Painter's Clubhouse this afternoon, so if you're a Clubhouse sister, I'll see you in there at 2 o'clock this afternoon. 
um, we're going to be remixing the reindeer with glasses door hanger. So that was one that we had done a couple years ago. Um, and we'll be remixing it. Oh, I just got my finger in it. Hold up. I flattened out the string a little bit there, but that's all right. But we'll be giving her a new look. I realized I missed a couple over here. So I was adding those back in. I think I got the rest of them. Okay, let's show you up close. See the lights? That's where I got my finger in it. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, super cute. And if you wanted to add another 3D texture, you could add snow text up here. I'm not going to do that on this one since I've already done the paint pen lines on there. Um, I'll kind of feel like I would just make a mess of it. Lauren likes the puff paint. Thank you. Hope I did hope I did you proud on this one, Lauren. She designed this door hanger. And you can find it at shopdoorhangers.com as a template that you can trace out on your own wood and cut your own. Or you can put the, uh, the file in your laser machine and cut your own on a laser if you want. Or you can just buy the wood cut out from us and we'll ship it to you. And you can follow these instructions and paint your own. Again, if you want the supply list for this project... Um, we will be putting that up on the website later in the week, but you can get the link by texting list to this number. If you've done that in the past, you should already have the link, but if you want, need the link again, just text list and uh, bookmark it. That way you have access to it. Anytime you sit down to paint one of the designs you've seen me paint live here or on, on or if you find one on my YouTube channel, likely, um, if it's one of the newer ones that we've done within the last year, the supply list should be on there. I think you missed a green one. Oh, I missed a green one? Where? The one right in the middle, maybe? Yep. Man, y'all are, like, good. I, don't, I feel like I'm, like, right here and still can't see it. And you guys have a bird's eye view, and you're still noticing things. Thank you. <laughs> I even, like, double-checked and looked it over and still missed it. Do the template files come with SVGs? Um, yes, template files do come with SVGs. So if you have a laser machine, you can use them on um, your laser. But if you can't, she said she couldn't see them on others she downloaded. Hmm. There may be a trick to that. If she can send us something in customer service, we can help Okay, her. yeah. Sandy, message customer service and tell them which ones you're having trouble with. And uh, we may be able to help you with that. Um, any other questions before I sign off? Don't forget to go and get your free Christmas tree cake door hanger design. It's a template, not a wood blank. Uh, this is for you to cut your own little Christmas tree cake and paint it. And um, by doing that, that also gets you um, a preview for our Black Friday specials. Like I said, we're going to have a different special every week leading up to Black Friday, starting this Friday with the gift boxes. And so you'll be the first one to find out what all those specials are. So as soon as you put your name and your email in, I want you to go to your email inbox. If you don't see it right away, use the search bar. Type in Tamara, T-A-M-A-R-A. Um, and it should find that for you. It'll find that email, whether it's in your junk or your spam, it'll bring it up for you. Download your template and then scroll down in that email. It will list out. I think it's in the PS section. It will list out all of the sales that are going to be happening over the next five weeks and the dates. It'll give you the dates for the sales too. So you can kind of make yourself a little list of what you want to, um, buy. Is this Friday the only time to pre-order? So the pre-order begins on Friday, Cynthia, and it goes through, I believe, like the second. You'll have to check the email to be sure. Hang on. I can check the email to be sure because I've got it right here. Hold on. Here it is. I will bring it up. The pre-orders go through, yes, Friday, this Friday through November the 2nd. So it ends on the 2nd. As long as you order during the pre-order, you're guaranteed to get a gift box. All right, y'all. Have a great weekend or week. It's this beginning of the week. Have a great week. <laughs> See you next time.